Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I've updated you on my weight loss journey, my health journey. It's been crazy, let me just put it that way. Not just my weight loss journey and health journey, but just life. <laughs> Life in general has been crazy. So welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already done so, if you could like this video, comment on it, and ring the bell for notifications and subscribe to this channel, that would be awesome. It helps my channel out so much and I really appreciate the support. So I it's bright out here, so I am going to put my sunglasses on. It's not because I'm trying to be rude and incognito. It's just, it's bright out here. So my kids are in a martial arts class right now and honestly mama needed a little bit of a break. So I was like, I'm just going to put together my video. Okay. So this video is actually my official announcement of losing 30 pounds, which is my halfway to 60 pounds, my halfway hashtag journey to 60. So yay, I am halfway there. Um, that actually, I'm going to go look up the date right now because I don't remember the exact date. So I'm going to look up the date right now and tell you when I officially hit the 30 pound weight loss mark. And then I'm just going to share with you what has been happening since then. Okay. So we're back. Um, I officially met my halfway to my hashtag journey to 60, um, on October 8th. Yes. October 8th. Sorry, mom brain is real and I don't remember stuff. Even when I just looked it up. I'm trying to like get this phone to be good. Usually I have a stand or something and here we are. No stand, hot mess, express. Um, so that was about 20 days ago that I hit that mark. And since then, I have either stayed plateaued. I may have went up a pound, down a pound. Um, my... 30 pound weight loss, I weighed in at 179.2 pounds. Okay. That was my 30 pound weight loss um, weigh in. And I now weigh 176.6. So as you can see, I haven't lost even a full three pounds in the last 20 days. Okay. So let's talk about why that has happened. Because there's a reason. The biggest reason is that I have not been honed in on my five in one plan. That's the plan that I'm on. I'm going to take a drink of water real quick. This is not for like show. This is because I'm thirsty. <laughs> so if you recall in my last video, I had told you <clears throat> um, that I had been struggling and I took like a couple days off and then I was going to hit the ground running in October. October first until we go on vacation on November 17th. I was going to be good. I was going to 100% be on the program. And you know what? I did not. <laughs> I did not. I did not stick to the program. Um, what I have done, I'm just going to let you know what I have done is I have eaten snacks that are not on the program outside of what I should be eating. Okay. I've eaten things like cheese sticks, salami. It doesn't really matter what it is, just knowing that it's not supposed to be consumed right now during my goal time of losing weight means that I'm going off program, okay? If you do that, if you go off program, if you eat a little bit of this or a little bit of that, if you're not tracking, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, if you're not getting your water, if you're not getting good sleep, if you're not engaging in healthy habits, you're not going to see results. And I'm saying you, but I'm talking about me. Okay. But any of these principles that I'm talking about that I've been learning about with myself specifically can be transferred over to you guys too. Okay. With whatever your specific situation is. So with all of that being said, I am not upset with where I'm at. I still have loss. Okay. Even if you don't have loss, even if you have gained, it doesn't matter. Okay. Because here's the thing. And you can obviously hear how passionate I am about this because I'm kind of getting loud. Um, kind of getting a little bit of fire in my voice, but here's the thing is that acknowledging it before it becomes a huge issue is amazing. Okay. Before I get to the point where I'm back in all of my old habits, I asked for help. Holy crap. What a novel 
idea asking for help. But here's the thing. When you are somebody who's so used to being independent and wanting to do things on your own, even though that's not always a good thing, that doesn't always serve your situation. So me asking for help is huge. Okay. I reached out to my health coach and this literally just happened. <laughs> I reached out to my health coach probably, let's see, today's Tuesday. I reached out to her, I think on Saturday or Sunday. And I was like, Hey, Chelsea, here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you, which I had been before, but I was hoping to get back on track and I hadn't. That's really the short end of it. And I was like, you know, and I think the reason why I didn't reach out is because I almost, I think that subconsciously I thought that I was going to let her down. And here's the thing. If your coach makes you feel less than, or that you have let them down, that is, I mean, this is just my opinion, but that, in my opinion, is not okay. My coach is not like that. She is everything I need in a coach. She's amazing. She is my friend. <laughs> she is my friend. We were both in each other's wedding and stuff like that. Chelsea is amazing. I love her um, to pieces, like outside of her being on this journey with me to help me through my weight loss. Um, she's just an awesome person. So she did not make me feel bad. She did not tell me, you know, you can do better. But at the same time, she did. You know, you can do better, but that's okay. Like, there's no point in self condemnation. Self condemnation doesn't get anybody anywhere. There is no point in feeling sorry for myself, any of that stuff, you know. But I think subconsciously, I thought I was going to let her down. And she, one million percent, was like, no, like, Let's get a plan in place. Like, let's figure it out. And so here are some things. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because maybe you are in the same boat as me on this realm, okay? On this regard, on your journey. If you're working with the Optivia 5-in-1 program, if you're not, whatever, okay? So if you do want more info on the program I'm on, you can comment below, hashtag info. I will send you more info, okay? Um, if you just want to be here to follow along on my journey and support me. Um, high five to you for sticking it out this long because I'm not easy to follow. <laughs> I'm super squirrely and all of the things, but I do think that one thing I do a good job of, I'm not tuning my own horn, I'm just saying it. I'm just being honest, but that is the good thing that I am as I am honest. And I want you to see the good, the bad, the hard, the difficult, and the celebrations because it's all real and it's all part of life. You know what I mean? So with that being said, these are some things that my coach has recommended that I do to recalibrate and re-get into the things that I need to be doing, okay? So these are some things that have helped me that I think will help you too. So get ready for those, okay? Okay. So number one, the first thing that I think that you should take a look at is tracking your day as far as a food journal. And I know that sounds tedious and annoying, but the thing is, is that we have to find out what is holding us back. Okay. You need to write down the time you wake up. You need to write down your first feeling. You're supposed to have it within 30 minutes of waking up. You need to write down when you eat, how much water you've consumed. Okay. I would, I have been writing down like how, like once I've been, cause I fill up my half gallon jug twice and that's like my goal to get through for the day. So I write down once I finish my first 64 ounces and then I write down like the time that I finished my last. Okay. So you want to be writing that stuff down. If you eat anything other than what's on plan, you need to write that stuff down, whether it's an optional snack, whatever. So let me be honest with you. I was taking some gummy vitamins and there's nothing wrong with those gummy vitamins. They have a lot of benefits and stuff like that. But the thing is, is that they had a lot of carbs in them, okay? Not a million carbs, not anything astronomical. But when you're trying to lose weight, every carb counts. Um, and if you're eating more than what the plan allows, um, because there's already science that has been utilized to go into creating the program that I'm on with the fuelings, all of the fuelings are nutritionally the same. So there's the same combination of fats, carbs, proteins, calories, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, and when you add other things into it, like it's not, <laughs> it's not just like magical calories that don't cost anything like they do. You know what I mean? So I started figuring out what it was that I had started doing and it was taking these, um, 
I, I'm going to be honest. It's not something I'm proud of either. I'm going to be honest. I was drinking some monsters. They were sugar-free, but they had five grams of carbs in them. <clears throat> I was drinking one of those a day. I started drinking those again. Um, so I started tracking all of that and looking at the nutritional content and lo and behold, I was consuming an extra 25 grams of carbs. Yes. Yeah, um, yesterday I, I tracked it for the first time. I, I started tracking today, but I added up all the extra carbs I was getting. And it was 25. Well, that's a lot of carbs <laughs> for food. That's not making me full. And it wasn't even food necessarily. I mean, yes, like vitamins, whatever, but that makes a difference. Okay. Will I be able to add these back into my diet when I want to? Yeah, but I have goals. And if I want to get to my goals a little bit more quickly, then I need to cut back on some of these things that are causing me to go over my weight, like over, um, like what I should be consuming in a day. Okay. So track, track, track. That would be huge for you. That's what my coach recommended. And I would really encourage you to do that. So you can kind of find point, trigger, whatever you want <clears> to <throat> hone in on where it is that things could get different. Okay. Change, improve, so on and so forth. So today I made sure not to consume those things. Okay. I was more aware of like what I was doing. Do I still need caffeine? Yes. I had two cups of coffee and I'm going to start drinking some green tea. I did have some green tea yesterday, so that helped. Um, but yes, I have to get creative with that sort of thing. Because I do love coffee, but the reason why I like coffee is because I like to have energy. It's not because I necessarily like the taste of it. <laughs> I'm one of those people who doesn't necessarily like coffee. Unless it's like sweetened up. Got a sweet tooth over here. So tracking would be big. Getting back to like the components. Okay. So the main components of the program, you have, <clears throat> if you're on the five-in-one plan, and there's different plans, so that might not be the plan that you're on. But if you're on the five-in-one plan, you need to stick to your five fuelings. You need to be eating every two to three hours. Um, you need to have all of your fuelings. And you need to have a lean and green, okay? Your lean and green needs to be measured. That's another thing that can cause you to, like, go off on your own and not necessarily um, help you to achieve the weight loss that you're looking for, okay? So you need to be measuring your food for your meal that you're going to be eating aside from the fuelings, okay? That's all important and necessary. Um, so that's something else that could be. Um, other things, you might not be getting enough sleep. You might not be getting enough water. You might have increased stress. Um, I mean, and around that time of the month, I don't necessarily lose. But I already knew that because it's happened the last couple months. I've been doing this since July 24th. And honestly, I think I think my brain was just tired because it takes a lot of time Um not, not time, but it takes a lot of energy to be disciplined. But here's the thing. It's hard to be disciplined and it's hard not to be disciplined. So why don't I choose my hard and actually get a positive benefit from it and be able to reach, get closer to my goals? You know what I mean? So that's kind of my soapbox and my suggestions for troubleshooting if you're on the program and you haven't been seeing the exact loss that you want to see. Um, and talking with your coach. And like I said, if your coach isn't like kind and caring and uplifting and encouraging to you, I would encourage you to look elsewhere. If you've already had a conversation with them and told them that it's not necessarily a coaching technique that serves you the best. Okay. And obviously I'm not saying to have like a confrontation with anybody, but this is a people situation, having a health coach, having a relationship. If you're not, if you don't know each other beforehand, um, it could be kind of a tricky situation. Not everybody is going to get along and be, you know, best friends. And that's okay if you're not. But like I said, if you feel like your coach isn't being kind and caring and uplifting, then it might be a good idea to find a different, a different one. Okay. And I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just suggesting that you should, your coach should be those things. Okay. And if they're not, then that isn't because they're not following the program. It's because they, um, they need to probably work on some like self-development and stuff like that to figure out how to best help people and serve people. And they might not even realize that they're doing it. Okay. 
So, and sometimes we're extra sensitive. I'm a very sensitive person. So sometimes I take things to heart that don't nece- that doesn't necessarily need to be taken to heart to the point that I did, but that's just something about my personality that I, I, I am aware of. So that's the other thing, maybe work on, um, you know, positivity, self-development, stuff like that. And lastly, I am going to sit down and do some time here with my life book. Um, one second. Sorry, my phone is like falling. <laughs> I told you. This is not a professional production, okay? Um, I've been spending some more time in my life book. And I'm going to spend some more time tonight in my life book. Um, I am trying to get a better routine down for myself. So that I can do the things that are going to help keep my mind right. Because this journey regardless of how much weight you want to lose, whether it's 10 pounds, 20, 50, 100, 200, whatever it is that you want to lose, this program and any weight loss program that you're being a part of or trying to achieve goals like that and health goals takes a mindset that is going to be positive, that is not going to be shaken. And if it is going to be shaken, it's only going to be for a short time. And then you have to jump right back in. It's the only way It's the only way. If you're constantly around negativity and people not uplifting you and things like that, it's not going to serve you and it's going to make this even harder of a journey. And that's not the point. The point is to make this as smooth as possible. Are you going to have bumps? Absolutely. You have seen my bumps. I've had bumps. It's okay to have bumps. Let's normalize bumps in the road being part of life and part of a journey. You know what I mean? Um, And, and letting yourself be okay with a bump getting in your way, acknowledging that. But a plan has to be made in order for success to happen. And that was when I saw the most success as I was following the plan to a T and I was tracking things and I was being more accountable. That's the other thing. Accountability will also make a huge difference for you. And so I did a lot of soul searching and reflection this past weekend. And that was when I reached out to my coach and I was like, I need some more accountability. I don't even need you to talk to me. (laughs) That's what I said to Chelsea. I was like, I just need to start weighing myself again regularly. I need to, so I I've been weighing myself every day. I need to tell you like, what my journal was or whatever for the day. Well, she suggested the journal. So then I started saying, okay, yeah, that's a good idea. And making sure I'm getting my water in and I'm sticking to my fuelings and stuff like that. So I talked to her about all of these things. Um, but that's the biggest thing is that I needed somebody to be accountable. When I feel like somebody's counting on me to do these things, to report to them, even though I don't have to, but I'm kind of trying to trick my brain into it. Um, when I feel that way, I am more prone to actually do the things that I need to do that are going to move me forward. So I would just encourage you to do that, okay? I would encourage you to look at all of those like points that I ma- made mention of and see if maybe you're not doing any of those things, like maybe just one of those things you're not incorporating and see how that does. I think the biggest thing though, guys, is asking for help and journaling slash tracking what you're eating because every... Um, bite that you put in your mouth, every lick, every taste, gum can make a difference. Everything, everything can matter. Okay. So just track everything that you're putting into your mouth. Um, and I think that you'll, and then like troubleshoot with your coach. And I think you'll notice that there are things that you can tweak that will help you. Okay. Um, rest of this video, I am going to share with you my way in from my 30 day loss. And I'm also going to share with you my pictures, my progress pics from my 30 pound weight loss. Okay. So these were back, I I told you, these were back almost, almost a month ago. Um, it was 20 or no, 18, 18 days ago. I think I don't do math, but anyway, I think it was about 18 days ago that these pictures were taken. So just so you're aware, I have seen changes since, but I will do that for another update and stuff. Um, but I'm going to show you those pictures and I just want to thank you for being part of this journey. If you have any encouraging words or suggestions or just want to, you know, say, get it girl (laughs) in the comments. I appreciate that so much. Um, I hope that you guys have a great day. And again, please like this video, subscribe. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if I can be of help and I will totally do that. Okay. Have a great day guys. Thank you so much and stay tuned for rest of the video. Good morning. 
I just woke up. <laughs> and the best time to get weighed in is in the morning. So let's do it, okay? All right, guys. So I accidentally <laughs> deleted um, my video of weighing in. I don't know how I did it, but I did. So without further ado, this these are all of my measurements that my scale does. So I did it. I got to my 30 pound weight goal, um, weight loss goal. So actually at 179.2, that would have been exactly 30 pounds lost. Yay. Um, this is some other factors to look at. Um, the red numbers are not good. <laughs> um, yellow numbers are like on the borderline. Green numbers are good. And then blue I think that means that I was good with my, oh, I'm not sure actually. No, oh, I, I don't think that the blue matters. I think it's just showing that it's a different type of like a body composition. Anyway, I'm working on it. I am going to write a little note here. Halfway to journey. Whoopsie. To 60. Yay. Okay. So I just took progress pics. I just want to tell you, this bathing suit, I have not done anything to, I have not adjusted it in any way, shape, or form. This is how big it is. No, on me. It needs to be adjusted. It could still fit me. But the straps, like, look at this. This is insane. Like, <laughs> um, the bottom is fine because that's stretchy. And this is stretchy too, but like, it was probably stretched to the max before I started. So I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> so this is an extra part of the video that I just am making. I was editing. And I've been really hard on myself. This is part of being a recovering perfectionist. I haven't had, I shared with you guys, I haven't had the journey in terms of failures the way I had wanted. But I was looking at those pictures that I just showed you. And this is why it's so important to take progress pictures. Because the pictures don't lie. Your worst critic, that can lie to you. But the pictures don't lie. I have nothing but happiness and pride. That's what I should be experiencing. And me crying and blubbering to you guys isn't that I'm sad it's just that I should be proud and I and I was but like I'm so hard on myself and I know I'm not the only one that I was almost beating myself up for it and don't be a mean girl to yourself or if you're a guy a mean guy don't be a mean guy to yourself talk to yourself the way you would talk to your best friend Because we can be so mean to ourselves. And I wasn't being kind to myself when I wasn't being perfect. And this idea of perfectionism, it can completely defeat you. It can put you in a spiral of bad choices. Whether it be a different bad habit than food, a different addiction, a different whatever. But... I was just sitting here editing the video and putting my pictures together and I just started getting really emotional. But in a good way, <laughs> if you, if this resonates with you, just know that you're not alone. And your journey doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. The only one who was, and yes, I am Christian, I'm Catholic, like, 
Jesus is the only one that's perfect. So why am I trying to put myself up on this level, trying to achieve something that's not something that can be done? So I just wanted to tell you guys, be proud of yourselves because I am proud. I am proud. I'm going to show those pictures one more time to you just so, because I'm proud and I'm going to show them again. <laughs> I just hope that you guys have an awesome day. And if you are struggling today, it's okay to struggle. But look at where you've come from. Don't look at the hard day. Look at what you've overcome. Look at what you've overcome. So anyway, I hope that you guys have a good day. Sorry for the tears, but I wanted to be real with you because this is real. This is a real moment. So anyway, I hope that you have a great day, okay? You know it's way too late. We're breaking our mistakes here.